Embrace the simple things in life. <clears throat> Looks like another newbie in the tribe. And still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one. Hey, now. I might still be ten kinds of crazy. You don't even know me, and you can't just tell from looking. I could be the friendly till she stabs you in the neck kind of crazy. Then where'd you be, smart Alec? All surprised and stabbed, that's where. But I'm not a vegetable, so I'm sane enough. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual? After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back, cut open your skull, and free your mind. As in, he rips out a bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back, but that doesn't always work out so good. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. It's all a little fuzzy for me, but I've got a hunch. I'm gonna go do some snooping, see what I can figure out. Meet me by the riverboat in a day or so, and maybe I'll have something for you. Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw out my eyes sometimes. It's just... I came out here to find a fortune, to make my mark, to be able to bring home something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back eventually. Just not quite yet. I guess you mean Jackson. He speaks the word of enlightenment at us, but he ain't fit to lead a song, much less this bunch of morons. I've been meaning to talk to him about this place, but he's off doing his meditation thing. You're a lucky one, and it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own, and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now, hold still, and I'll see if I can't help you look like your old self again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was all Jackson's crazy idea. I knew better than to volunteer for that suicide mission. Last time I wandered too close to that mansion, some old ghoul sicked his dogs on me. Screw that! What is this, a date? You start making a move, and it's stabbing time! Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear, that stuff pisses me off so much. I thought joining would be all drugs and magic. But it's just the same crap as everywhere else. Guess that's why I trailed Jackson to his stupid mystery cave. Sure. Fine. Why not? I'm planning on ditching this place anyway. If you're about to cause trouble with Jackson, all the more reason. His cave's under the cathedral, but it's hard to find. Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. When you find that old idiot, tell him thanks for all the punga I could steal. Guess we never got a formal introduction, huh? 
Name's Nadine. I know you're not from around here. So, what brought you out here? You looking for fortune or running from your troubles? Yeah, enough gabbing. Let's move. You infiltrated his tribals yet? And you didn't go track him down and grill him for information. I'm not your daddy. Don't waste your time checking in. Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. The brainless morons who worship some crazy spirit. What's to know? I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I was still at skin. There was some girl who came nosing around here a few weeks back, but she ran off before I could uh, introduce myself. What's the difference between you and me, kid? What makes a gifted killer like yourself into a rock-hard bastard like me? The answer is training, you ignorant fuck! I've got a hundred years of experience on you, and don't you forget it. Stick by me and you'll get a master's class in doing what has to be done. Back to business.
次の指示を待ちます。周りは敵だらけですね警戒態勢を維持します Yes, and you will be able to spread your knowledge across the astral plane for all those wise enough to accept it. No, not astral knowledge, you simpleton. Psychic domination, and that and that still won't be possible until you destroy Desmond's jamming device. No need to worry, Enlightened One. We shall reconsecrate the mansion and remove the impurities obstructing your perfect guidance. Yes, fine. Go destroy the house and its impurities. Just stop that jammer, and I'll be free of you morons once and for all. Yes, we shall be free of all limitations. Thank you, Master. We shall be the instrument of your mighty real. Nah. Hello? You are a fellow seeker of the higher planes, perhaps. What brings you here? I may be the man who leads our physical affairs, but I cannot claim true wisdom. I take my orders from my higher master. Whether it be how to explore higher planes, or the decision to remove the disruptive ghoul, all wisdom comes from the transcendent master. It is very rare that others are permitted to commune with the master. Many are too foolish to understand the great truths of his higher mind. But I sense in you great potential. Perhaps you have what is needed to accept his teachings and grow from his wisdom. He manifests here, high on a ledge in the great sea cave's well. Seek him out, and all shall be revealed. So, you're the mouse that was scurrying around here. Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Now then, perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist and his tribe of idiots. What you are interacting with is merely a holographic projection, and a clumsy one at, at that, but it's all I can manage at the moment. As for myself, you gaze upon one of America's greatest minds, preserved through the miracles of science. Much more elegant than shambling on as some rotting corpse for all eternity, don't you agree? At the moment, they've been no use at all, but I have very few options. They can't even seem to remove a single ghoul from a house. Excellent. I cannot tell you how satisfying it is to find a suitable assistant after all these years. 
Now, the ghoul is a pain and may require disposal, but Desmond is only of second importance. The real target is a device in his possession. He has a jammer which limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that, and I can extend my reach so much further. Of course I did, but that moron thought it was one of his adult visions. The real goal was to destroy the ghoul's jamming device. Honestly, those fools aren't worth the meat they're made of. A minion that can't follow directions is no use at all. Desmond, that bag of bones and bio will pay dearly for his trespasses. Well, if it's not for his interference, I would still have a body. Still, its absence has only held my brilliance, so perhaps I owe him my thanks. An appreciation I'll show in the form of a quick and messy death. Ha ha ha! Yes, away with you! I knew it! I knew that little bastard was behind all this! After all these years, he stuck his head out. And this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Him. I should have known. My old rival. So close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man. Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland, back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president. Until that scandal with the dog forced him to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. Calvert is my old rival. Centuries we've played this game. I knew he'd be stupid enough to hide so close to his family home. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy, and I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live. I knew he was here, and it is my intent to find him and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Figurative, I mean. His head. Of course, I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? You're goddamn right I am. Now, let's get on with the work, shall we? So, those half-wits are getting messages from the Professor, right? So, he's off somewhere broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find the squishy little worm and finish him off for good. If I know the Professor, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up that little worm's talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point around and install it. Easy, right? Right. 
it, attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now go. Hey, just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of this boat now. Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the punga seeds gassed them. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for punga fruit to trade. Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under a citizen's arrest. Sorta. Yeah, he seemed nice enough, didn't he? I wouldn't have figured it out if I hadn't snuck into his engine room while waiting for you. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look, if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love, preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn if I hadn't earned that adventure I came out looking for. I think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like, and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Yeah, enough gabbing. Let's move. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? Murder? Really, what would your father say? I thought he raised you better than that. You had an awful lot to say about him when you were unconscious, and from the sound of it, He'd be very, very disappointed in what you've become. Sounds like he didn't spank you enough as a kid. Maybe I can make up for his lost time. Over there! Get him! Gute Arbeit. Lass nichts zurück. Zumal, so rege Akarumi ni deru mai ni kuchi fuji o shite shimaitai. Toyu koto desu ne. Irgendwas Wertvolles müssen Sie doch dabei haben.
すみません。We having fun yet? Yeah, enough gabbing. Let's move. It is I, Professor Calvert. Don't bother looking around. I'm in your mind. But aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I am a better. How about instead of playing this game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in the nearby trash compactor, and you will never have to worry about it again. I assure you that the gratitude of Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a wonderful life. You fool! What have you done? You will pay for this! Pay! No one betrays me! Do you understand? And? You will suffer! This! You! And? That cool! Both! Pay! Coming for! You! What the hell? Noch nie so tot gesehen. Zeig mir ihm, wie die Bruderschaft sowas macht. Come to 
schon, ihr dreckigen Schweine! Kommt her! What bastard? What bastard? He killed my pups. Nearly killed me. For what? He doesn't have a body to fucking do it himself, so he tried to blow me up. Me? Well, this ends today. Desmond Lockhart will finally win out. I know where he is. He overplayed his hand this time. You and me are going to walk in there and end this. Well, aren't you a fucking softy? But Calvert is here. He's got a lab under the lighthouse, the little fuck. Right under my nose the whole time. I found it when he boosted his signal to try and get through the jamming. When he sent those tribals to kill my poor pups. He's down there, hiding behind robots and machines, sucking life. Pathetic. He dies now. Now, that's more like it. Follow me. You're about to witness the end of an era. <laughs> <laughs> 